Hi guys, my name is Jumbo. Uh, in this series of videos, I'm going to be working out some ZIMSEC past examination uh, papers uh, to try and get you ready for your examination. So the first paper that I'm working out right now is November 2011, paper 1. So I think let's get right into it and see what we, what we can do. The first question said, giving your answer as a common fraction in its lowest terms, find the value of uh, 3 over 5 minus 5 over 9. So when we are subtracting fractions like this, we look for the common denominator. So the common denominator will be a number that uh, is exactly divisible by 5 and exactly divisible by 9. And uh, that number in this case is 45. Right. So 45 is my common uh, denominator and um, so I say 5 into 45 that is 9, 9 multiplied by 3 that is 27, right, minus 9 into 45 that is 5, 5 multiplied by 5 that is 25, 25. So this gives me... 27 minus 25 that is 2 over 45 so that is my final answer I cannot take this any further because there is no common factor between 2 and 45 though. so that is basically the lowest terms for this one the next question says uh, 2 divided by 3 and 2 fifths the first step here i think we would have to change the denominator first to an improper fraction so that becomes 2 divided by to change 3 and 2 fifths uh, to an improper fraction we say 3 multiplied by 5 uh, that is 15 then 15 plus 2 that is 17 so we will have 17 there um, over 5 right, so that is the improper fraction and then the next step that I prefer to do here I prefer to write it as 2 here then since we are dividing this is a division line so I say 2 divided by 17 over 5 Right. And then um, just so that I look at it as, tw as two fractions that are being divided together, I will say for two, I will make it two over one. Essentially, I have not changed anything. It's still two, but written uh, as a fraction, basically. Right. And for division of fractions, the first fraction remains the same, two over one. And our operator here changes to multiplication so it becomes a multiplication when we do this we invert the second fraction meaning we write it upside down uh, meaning that it becomes 5 over 17 right and then we do our multiplication for multiplication here we simply say numerator here by numerator so 2 times 5 that is 10 right and over 1 times 17 that is 17 right where they say in its lowest terms we have to look at the our answer and see whether we have a factor uh, of 10 and 17 there is no number that can uh, get into 10 and can get into 17 without leaving a remainder uh, like so that is basically the final answer we can't take it any further right 